Hello everyone, I am Rishikesh Kulkarni. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the preferred numbers. The numbers which are used for deciding the range of characteristics of products such as power transmitting capacity, load carrying capacity as well as sizes of components or product for carrying out variation in the characteristic of the product. Such as for example, a car manufacturing company Hyundai have three different models of similar product Hyundai Eon, Hyundai i10, Hyundai i20 which are varied with respect to power as well as size of that particular product. Hyundai Eon is the smallest product, i10 is compared to larger size of product and i20 is the larger than i10. This is the example how the companies can vary or can set different models of a product having similar design. Now we'll see how the company varies their sizes. The company uses some preferred number series which are indicated by R5, R10, R20, R40 and R80 series. The amount of change if a company is using R5 series it is the fifth root of 10 the amount of change in the characteristic that company can make in the product is up to 50%. If a company is using R10 series that is 10th root of 10 then the company can change or can vary the characteristic of product up to 26%. If a company is using R20 series in its design phase that is 20th root of 10 the company can vary 12% of its original characteristic. If a company is using R40 series that is 40th root of 10 then the company can vary 6% of its original characteristic. If a company is using R80 series that is 80th root of 10 then a company can change 3% in the original characteristic of that particular product. The R5 series is used for setting the various sizes or setting the various characteristic for smaller products or for smaller components and R40 and R80 series are used for heavy products such as boilers, cars etc. So this is about the preferred number series. These are used for varying the sizes or varying the characteristics in any product. In my next tutorial I am going to discuss about the theories of elastic failure which are the most important concept for designing of any component. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.